guys, Merry Christmas. It is Christmas day and we are getting excited for all the festivities here. In my family, we do things a little bit different. I know that people celebrate like Noche Buena and they celebrate like Merry Christmas Eve, 12 o'clock, all that stuff. But we actually celebrate Christmas day and look at snowy. Are you sunbathing queen? So we have this little mimosa tower going on here for the champagne, some whiskey, the benil cooking in the oven. My mom made arroz con gandules. Woo. Can I open whatever one first? There's yeah. no oh my God, I love it! What? <laughs> the Sanderson sisters! Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh my God, I love it! Is this a joke? Like something's oh. gonna pop out? Okay. Can you just oh, no. take out the box from there? Oh, it's a take gift and a box. gift and a gift. He did it. He did the gift no. and a gift and a gift. Oh, uh, I knew it. The gift and the gift. stumbled across my channel please don't forget to subscribe and like and just join the family i do a lot of videos here about my vlogs i'm going to be starting a new series on my channel about my weight loss journey and i'm really excited to share that with you guys and then i have a new video coming out next week well not next week coming out on friday because i think i'm going to post this either monday or tuesday it's going to talk about my new year's goals and resolutions i have a vision board already in the works i'm getting the frames for it today and i'm going to take you guys along with me i'm just so excited for this new year i feel like 20 2021 really flew by. I got a lot of things done. I grew a lot as a person. So what better way to start the new year than a little Target haul? I went to Target. Oh, wait, did I even say don't forget to subscribe? Yeah, so don't forget to subscribe. <laughs> Join the family. I would truly appreciate it. You're going to be seeing a dog running in and out of here. Her name is Snow. It's my mom's dog. So we're babysitting her. So if you hear any jingling, that's her. It's Snow. So I have a couple things that I got from Target. I got some Target gift cards for Christmas and I was so happy because I literally asked for Target gift cards because I love the home decor in Target. So I want to show you guys the little bit of stuff that I got in Target. Let's get into it. So in regards to the Christmas stuff, because I did get a couple of Christmas things, most of it was already taken. Like everyone rampaged it. It was all gone. I did get these little guys right here. Let me just show you. They're little baking tools and I thought they were really cute. I think these are great to decorate as well, like during the Christmas times. They were only 60 cents, which isn't bad at all. The next thing I got, and this was literally like just two bucks, I believe. Not bad at all. The next thing I got, which is also on the Christmas theme, <laughs> it is this little poopery spray. You like spray it or you add two little drops in the toilet before you go poop and it's supposed to just eliminate that odor. I think this is great for the guests and for myself. That's so weird. <gasps> ah. Anyways, I thought this was cool. If you guys have tried this before, let me know. I just think like, you know, like when you have guests over and they need to poop, but they don't want to smell your, your bathroom. This is very discreet. There's no loud like shh spray you know the next thing i got which was also very christmas related was this little candle first of all love the packaging i totally think you can reuse this by the way it's so gorgeous but the smell mm, 
The smell literally smells like pine cone and just like deliciousness that I'm missing here in this Florida hot weather. So I got this and even though it's not Christmas anymore, I'm totally gonna burn this candle. Which by the way, I hope you guys had an amazing Christmas or happy holidays or anything you guys celebrate. Okay, the next thing I got, maybe I got too much. Is it necessary? Don't know because I do have a lot of containers and we are gonna be cleaning up the pantry soon. However, when you see stuff like this, you can't pass it up. We have all seen the iconic videos about the Target dollar spot. I don't know about you guys, and I know I say this for like my Dollar Tree videos, go to different Dollar Trees. Target dollar spot for me, I've never really had that much good luck. There is a couple things that I found that are very juicy and this being one of them, but I've struggled for the Target dollar spot. I really have. These are the bins I got. First of all, you can't go wrong. They're $5. Dollar Tree, you could find these in the plastic way. You can find smaller ones for a dollar, but they're not this aesthetically pleasing. I'm gonna be honest. Dollar Tree, if you're watching this video, just make them more like this and we'll be perfect. But it comes with this little thing. I thought this would be so cute for your bathroom products, for your pantry. And you can never go wrong with like a nice cream color. Another thing I got in the Dollar Tree spot for Target, I thought it was adorable. It's for plants or for honestly whatever you want, but I thought it was very cute. This was also $5. I have seen smaller ones of these in the Dollar Tree, but I really liked this one. So I decided to just splurge and get it. And I had a gift card. So, you know, I was just living my best life in the Target vibes. I thought this was really good for the pantry, um, for snacks, anything, leftover breads. You know how when you have like little scraps of bread, not scraps, but like when the bread is ending, right? And it just looks ugly on the counter. You could just put it right in here. I don't know. I like it. This was also five bucks. So I thought it wasn't bad. I thought it was a good steal. I know you guys have seen my couch. I'm going to insert a little clip just in case, but the couch that I got, it comes with these pillows. Now the pillows are beautiful. I know a lot of people like them, but the thing is I want to change it up. I'm going for the more neutral vibes, adding some plants around round greenery but I did find some pillows that I really like and I'm hoping to change up the vibes these are the colors I think they're gorgeous they're beautiful for two of these it was $25 not bad I mean could be worse they're nice and soft the color is exactly how I want them the next pillow that I got I got it simply for like the texture it looks so pretty I'm not gonna lie this one pillow was $20 you know there's some things you just have to splurge on and I feel like this is a good pillow for all year long for Christmas, for the summer. I just think this is such a nice accent pillow. I can't wait to see how it all looks. Hey, okay. The last thing I got was a four cube organizer. This was actually on sale. It was originally $55, I believe, or 50, and it was marked down to 40, which I thought was a great deal. I needed like a little stand basically for our room. Our TV's gonna go on top of the wall. It's gonna go wall mounted and everything, but Daniel has like his PS4, the Xbox, and all those other little electronics that are just kind of laying on the floor right now, collecting dust, and it's it's not cute. It goes with the furniture. I think it's gonna look great. I'm probably gonna add two little drawers in the bottom just to make it a little cuter. The next thing I got is this dry and itchy scalp care oil. I'm really big on oils. If you haven't seen some of my previous videos, I've been using the Miel hair oil and now the Rosemary Mint Mask. I'm obsessed with it. So I've been having a lot of flaky scalp. I don't know if it's dandruff or it's just dry scalp. So I decided to try this because I've seen it all over TikTok as well. And I will keep you guys posted. That is it for the little haul. I'm gonna take you guys along the day with me. I have a lot of exciting things. I'm going to Michael's like I mentioned in the beginning of the video. We are going to get a notebook because I want to start not necessarily journaling but maybe like talking about my day in the journals. I'm going to explain more in my 2020, 2020, 2022 <laughs> New Year's resolutions video that I'm going to have coming out which I'm so excited to share with you guys. It's like a resolution video but also like goals and different things that I have in mind that I want to share with you guys. Let's take us on the day. Let's let's shop together. Let's walk together. Let's talk Talk together, let's go. I don't really know what you mean when you say I'm not what you need. Cause oh, I've seen the look you give me, and it's a silent killer. I totally went all out. This vlog that I'm doing is all about shopping, so yay. <laughs> First thing that we got is this little pillow. So freaking cute, it was 70% off. So originally it was $25 and I got it for 70% off. The next thing I got was this little candle set. Now what's cool about this is that it has like a remote control and it 
lights up so it's really cool because for your table you can put like a nice garland and then you add these and these are so nice i think this was only so this was 29.99 this came up to like 9 10 bucks this was also 70 percent off so i also got this little journal for ideas this is going to be in my new video so i'm not going to show you guys too much inside sometimes when i have a new idea i tend to write it on my phone but for this time around i kind of want to get into just writing my thoughts down instead of just reaching for my phone all the time so this is a little pot here i thought this was so cute again for christmas and it came up to only 360 which is really cheap but look how pretty look at the colors if you guys like those kind of neutral color vibes the next thing i got was this frame now i will go more into it like i said in the other video but i really like it i think it's gonna go well in the room and this is for the vision board i have in mind by the way if you see in five and below they have a small christmas section they're 50 percent off which is a steal because five and below is already inexpensive this was only 150 this is adorable. This is for my mom. <laughs> One says joy in the back and when you flip it, it says gnome for the holidays. Okay, I thought it was like two different ones, but it's fine because I'm going to give one to my mom anyways. The next thing I got was this puzzle. My brother and I are going to do it together and it's 500 pieces and it was only five bucks. We're going to go do groceries right now. I have a couple healthy things that I want to get a couple things for the seafood boil that we're going to be doing. I got the Bee Loves Life sauce. I don't know if you guys watch mukbangs, but supposedly this sauce is like the most epic thing in the universe so we've been dying to make it i will see you guys after we come back from doing groceries <laughs> we were supposed to get bananas but i think that daniel got platanitos like platanos so we'll find out if these are actually bananas or not comment down below what you think i think these are platanos <laughs> But we'll see. Bananas. Yeah, okay. <laughs> we also got some of this pasta right here. Bonza shells made from chickpeas. These have a lot of grams of protein and fiber. I personally really like these. I think it's better than the pasta if you're trying to go on the healthy route, which is what we're trying to do as I just chucked a beer. But it's fine. I overcook these so they come out a little bit softer because sometimes they come out a little bit hard. But once you overcook them, they taste amazing. We got some eggs, parts of romaine, fresh spinach. I usually like to get the Caesar salad ones of like the chopped salad kits but they didn't have so i decided to try some of these i feel like it would be really good they look good and then i got this avocado ranch one i also decided to get these low carb tortillas to do like caesar um chicken salad wraps i feel like that would be good or even like tacos we also got some cilantro some green onion cucumbers for the salad that i'm gonna make and then we got these two bags of large shrimp one of these bags is gonna be for the seafood boil that we're doing and then we got some corn we also got some black beans we needed some butter for the seafood boil as well we got apples now for the burger buns i really didn't want these i wanted the dave's bread burger buns personally don't really like this whole wheat brand like i don't know i just don't like it ran out of the dave's bread so i figured this would do some feta cheese i love feta cheese the one from trader joe's the mediterranean feta is like a hundred times better than this one but they didn't have this one because we went to walmart i also got these potatoes these are super easy to microwave and they can literally last you the whole week they come with so many little potatoes i usually don't use the seasoning pack that it comes with because it's very salty so if you are going to use it i recommend just using like half the pack and you can also make these with some grilled onions and peppers and they taste amazing if you're looking for a quick dinner on the go this is ready in five minutes some more potatoes only because like we need it for the seafood boil and then some sliced cheese and hummus if you guys know i love hummus with carrots i think it's so good i'm gonna go ahead and start cooking the seafood boil and preparing everything right now okay this is the sauce that we're gonna be doing this is be love sauce we got the spicy version we have to cut up these onions in slices so when you like dip in everything you get like a huge onion slice and now we're gonna start doing the sauce Today when we were walking down Okay guys, this is the final product. I have the corn, the boiled egg, the shrimp, and I put some cucumber. We also have some white rice and there's potatoes under there. It was worth the wait. This looks juicy. Okay, I'm gonna try the sauce right now. This is one of the shrimps. Mm, I actually really like it. The sauce is good. I will say it does have a little bit of a lot of oregano to it. I don't know. I've seen a lot of people make this from scratch and it turns out really good. But the Bee Love sauce, I have to say it's good. I give it like an 8 out of 10. I think it's really good. It just tastes a little bit, it has like a lot of oregano and I don't know if I really like it that much. But overall, it's really good, especially with the onions and the garlic. Okay, I'm going to eat this. I'll see you guys later. 
We were just doing some puzzles and I finished cleaning the kitchen and everything. Happy New Year, happy holidays, and I will see you in 2022. And don't forget to subscribe and everything and do all the things, okay?